Have you ever felt scared before? I know I've felt scared. I think we can all agree that this world can feel scary right now because we don't have the answers to everything. Life has events that we don't always want. But when we pray, that's what brings us closer to God in those tough times. God is with us in the hard times in our lives. It's easy to have fear when we don't know what's going on. But we don't have to fear because God is always with us, with his arms reaching out to us and keeping us safe. The world can feel out of control sometimes, but we don't have to fear because we know who's in control. The song of the week that I picked this week is uh, Fear No More by Building 429. This is a great reminder that we don't have to fear, and sometimes the events in life aren't what we want them to be, but we don't have to fear because God is with us. Here's some of the lyrics from Fear No More. This isn't what I'd choose, but it's where I'm finding you. When I'm broken and undone, your mercy has just begun. You overcome my doubt. Your hands are reaching out. You hold me through the storm, and I will fear no more. For religion, you have a Palm Sunday packet. This is a story um, of Palm Sunday, and the packet has different activities that you can do. There's You could choose to do half today and then finish it tomorrow. You could do it all today. Um... But I would recommend splitting it up so that you don't have to do it all at one time. Palm Sunday is the story of when Jesus rode on a donkey into Jerusalem. Jesus told his disciples to go find a donkey that has never been ridden before. And when you find it, tell the people, if they ask, that the Lord needs it. So when the, don when the disciples found the donkey, people asked, what is the donkey for? And the disciples said, the Lord needs it. So as they took it to Jesus, Jesus rode into Jerusalem with the donkey and people were praising him, saying Hosanna and waving uh, palm branches in the air for Jesus. Do you know what Hosanna means? Hosanna means God saves us. So they were saying Hosanna and waving the branches as the donkey rode by. They even laid their coats on the ground. And the ground was really dirty and it was dusty. And so they put their nice coats on it so that the donkey had a nice place to walk over. But the Pharisees in Jerusalem, they weren't very happy that this was happening. They were getting jealous. They said that they wanted the people to stop praising God. But do you know what Jesus responded with? He said that if the people don't praise me, then the rocks will still praise my name. You can read this story to a parent, or you can have a parent read it to you. The next part, the next page in the packet is um, a cut and paste page. It's very similar to what we do in our literacy rotations. You're going to read the sentence and then cut and glue where it go, which picture it matches with. Then it's story sequencing. So you're going to read a sentence and then tell me which one comes first in the story name that one and then two three and the last thing that was that happened in the story will be number four then down here you're going to write your own sentences um, from the Palm Sunday story and then see if a brother sister or a parent can sequence what you wrote next is writing and you're going to write the story of Palm Sunday using these vocabulary words up here in the in the box and finally, it is a coloring sheet of the donkey. So use this coloring code to tell you which colors go with the words. And finally, our memory for this week is Isaiah 53, verse 6. The Lord has laid on Jesus the iniquity of us all. The Lord, being God, has laid on Jesus the iniquity of us all. The iniquity is a big word. Iniquity is our sins. God has laid on Jesus the sins of us all. That means that Jesus died on the cross. He took When he died on the cross, he took up our sins so that we could be forgiven and saved. So while you're listening to Fear No More, um, you can either sing along with the song or you can draw pictures 
or write words about what this verse means to you. Now, throughout the week, remember that um, the real meaning of Lent and that Jesus died on the cross and he saves us. And go throughout this week reminding yourself that you don't ever have to fear even when life can be kind of scary because God is always with you.